MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via Video Media. I'm at Heimbuch, I'm with Clemens, and we're going to now look at the Manox stationary chuck. This is a versatile work holding system, four milling machines. Clemens, we've got a clamping head in here. Can you just tell us or just show us how this comes out and then replace it with another one? Okay, I take a changing fixture. This one is for manual use. For larger ones, I would use a nomadic version. Then I take another clamping head, maybe this one or another shape. So depending on what, what your machine and what, what the shape of the part is. Exactly. You, yeah, there's so a I'll take this one, it. put it in there, reduce the diameter of the coupling, then I can place it into the mantle, uh, the stationary chuck and that's it. Okay, so now we put the bar in there, let's say for example here, how do you tighten it up? Uh, in this case, I have a manual stationary chuck, so I use a wrench, normally a torque wrench, yep. or just a normal wrench like this. And is, and that, then, is that a pull down motion? Pull down motion, when the clamping head is one level with a the face, then it's clamping uh, diameter, yep. then it's a clamping position, and uh, of course I have a clamping reserve, so when I continue to, to crank, then it goes to the end of the clamping stroke. Okay. okay. All right, so that's a clamping head for, uh, let's say, say bar there. But to, to, to demonstrate the flexibility, we've got <coughs> mandrels as well as these other adaptations. Can you just show us taking the mod, uh, this clamping head out and maybe putting these on? Okay, for other work pieces, uh, I have uh, more options for outside clamping because here diameter of this size ends with 78. I can use a, a small or the larger jaw module. Okay. They are basically... Uh, jaw jack adaptations. So which one do you like the so small, if, yeah, so if the we small went one? So the bigger one, so here we, we, we're demonstrating here that we've gone from maybe a 65 mil bar up to <laughs> what's the diameter here? Up to one, uh, 210. These jaws are for diameter uh, 170 at the moment. Yeah. So I just use the, the wrench to move the bar, uh, the adaptation to clamped position. Yeah. So I check here the um, indicator pin okay. uh, of the uh, And you can obviously move the jaws as well though, closer. <clears throat> of course, in. like with any other jaw yeah. chuck, I can place the jaws to other position. Yeah. Maybe it's interesting here to see there is a scale. Yeah. So yeah. in open position, I use, um, I place the jaws. That's great for to indication. The, exactly, because I'm used to clamping heads. Uh, yeah. I don't like uh, adjusting the, yeah. the jaws. So and I put it <clears throat> onto the stationary chuck. Then I lock three screws just to mount it onto the face of the stationary chuck. Maybe I just lock one yeah. for demonstration. And then I connect the coupling of the adaptation yeah. with the basic work holding. Now that's it. And uh, yeah, now I'm ready to go. Same way, yeah, it's just, use the same method to... Now I just need another wrench because with a large adaptation, this one doesn't fit so nicely. Okay. That's why I have this one. So, no, sorry, other way around. And then I can clamp with the jaws from the outside for a larger diameter. Yeah, so it's, it's not even a matter of minutes, it's a matter of seconds really to go from. It depends a little bit on the preparation. Yeah. So uh, when I have everything prepared, I can do this in two minutes. What about clamping forces? <clears throat> uh, there's a big difference. Normally this chuck with a clamping head has a radial clamping force of 13, 12 to 13 tons. Yeah. 130 kilonewtons. With the jaw module, I have 60 kilonewtons. Okay, okay. Okay, so now let's take the jaw module off mm -hmm. and then go on to the mandrel. Okay, just release. And we're obviously doing all this in process, so it's real time, so you can get a... <laughs> yeah, and it's life, that's my problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a challenge for you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, but now... We... Okay, <clears throat> so let's select this. This one? Yeah. Okay. So this is a um, mandrel adaptation without the draw bolt for blind holes. Is it uh, most often used? I place it here. Oh, just a moment. I have to check if this one is in release position. Okay. Then place it here. I lock again the adaptation with three screws. Yeah. Just use one here. And then I have to connect the coupling of the mandrel adaptation with a stationary chuck. That's why I go in here. Right. I just lock the coupling and when I uh, actuate it, now you see the bushing 
is moving, moving yeah, and, and spreading, spreading open. So if we've got a pre-prepared part that's got a, a bore, drops over the, the mandrel. Exactly. And then it gives you your same, secure clamping. Same thing here. When the bushing is one level with the mandrel body, then I'm in clamped position. In this case, 50 millimeters. Yeah. And now I go to clamping reserve. Okay. So very much the, the Manox stationary chuck, very much for one piece clamping. What, what about multiples if you had, you know, if you were looking for multiple setups? Is it, is it for that? You mean multiple clampings on one machine table? Yeah. Um, then uh, customers often use uh, um, hydraulic or pneumatic actuated yeah. uh, stationary chucks. That's where we would use a hydrock. Okay. It's the same as the Manoc, but it just has, has a, um, what's the word, a piston. Yes, okay. A piston okay. below. But the principle is the same in terms of the flexibility. The principle is exactly the same. And I think the, 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 biggest, um, the biggest factor here when we talk about flexibility is the fact that although the Manoc is for milling, mm -hmm. all the adaptations can be used within your turning range as well. Of course, you uh, by selecting the basic work holding, in this case, a manual actuated manok, which you don't use for series production. Yeah. Um, when you use a hydraulic one, you can use it for series, but all uh, clamping heads or adaptations you can use on any basic work holding. Doesn't matter if grinding, turning, uh, milling. Yeah, you, you can use it throughout. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's a really good insight. And I think the fact we've done it in real time um, demonstrates to our viewers the flexibility that the Manoc stationary chuck can offer you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.